This is our new hydrogen gas detector, model HRT10, talking detector. It has a lot of real interesting features I'd like to show you. First, it has this detachable bracket, and it will take a 9-volt rechargeable battery. Now, don't put a regular battery in here because it will explode. It must be rechargeable. I like lithium-ion uh, because they have the best life. Welcome to use Smart Voice Gas Leakage Alarm. Sensor, processing, heating. One moment, please. And the battery takes over when there's a power shortage and will operate about two to four days on just the battery. Now the cord that you see coming off here is for opening and closing valves, turning on and off alarms. It's basically a 10 amp remote circuit. And uh, let's say you have an alarm, uh, you can actually go and turn off the gas valve to the main gas uh, tank in the area. Uh, you can run an external alarm or run it to a burglar alarm. Uh, it gives it a lot of versatility having this 10 amp normally open relay. This model comes with a two prong USA type adapter for AC electricity. Let's plug this in and see what happens. Welcome to use Smart Voice Gas Leakage Alarm. Sensor, processing, heating. One moment, please. Now these do have a palladium coil, and they do take about 10 minutes to warm up initially. One thing you do not want to use is, I'm going to cover this light here for you, so you can see that a little better. You do not want to use these as hydrogen detectors. In other words, sniffing out hydrogen leaks. These are strictly alarms. Uh, um, you don't want to trip them more than 10 times a day, so they're not really hydrogen sniffers. You don't want to continually be tripping this alarm. The palladium in there is good for about 10,000 trips, which is fine for an alarm that goes up on the wall. Now, in about 10 minutes here, this is going to stop blinking, and it's going to be ready uh, for uh, protection and activation. Okay, once it's been about 10 minutes you'll see that the lights just turned black on the four digit readout this will go to 9999 parts per million and show you exactly how much gas you have now this has a fault sensor uh, circuit and a test sensor circuit so to make uh, sure maybe once a year or so that your detector is still in working order you can test the palladium element in here and double check it I'm going to hold this here and what you want to do is you want to hold down on this button to do a fault light test attention please sensor processing modify one moment please and it's just going to go through its paces. It's going to heat up the sensor, make sure nothing's going to trip it accidentally. Then the light's going to turn out. i have got this blinking one down here. I put my finger over this because it's a little blinding on the camera. And that goes out and then this light goes out. Now to do an action alarm test you don't hold down on this button you'll actually just snap it. And this says test. Now we actually have a tank of uh, hydrogen gas here and we're gonna do a real test and put some gas in here. Well, it's uh, about 
attention please. Four thousand. No, HHH means it's over the limit. Attention please. Now that's a real leak. And you get the red lights on. I'm going to blow some air through here so we can get this to stop. Attention, please. Happen. Leak. Now it's down to 1,200 parts per million and off. But you see that? It's got a very accurate parts per million. We're going to give it some hydrogen gas again. I'm going to put my finger over the light so you can see the sensor a little better. And watch the parts per million gauge. Attention, please. 6,000 parts per million. Leak. And HHH means it's gone Attention, over the limit. Happen. Leak. Attention, please. Happen. Leak. Now at this point, uh, this would have turned on and it could have energized uh, a valve near the main hydrogen storage cut the valve or turned on an alarm or went to the central alarm system and warned your alarm company so that's kind of the basics of how this thing runs it's a great little unit